Hello. Today marks yet another special occasion in the land of Get Bent. Today is the day that I turn 39 and a half years old. So if you've been following along, you'll know that Get Bent is pretty much a chronicle of the year that I am 39 years old. So if you do the math, you'll figure out that we've reached the halfway point on our journey down this path. Now, you might be wondering then, why didn't I get on my path that I'm usually on to celebrate and mark this special occasion? But as you're about to see, I kind of will be. See, I, I decided to go the kind of lame and tacky route and give you a true traditional clip show. Dun dun dun! So now that we've been walking together for six months now, let's take a trip back down the path and see where we've been. So, hi. I have a question. Hello, everybody. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. C'est dans la ville de Paris aujourd'hui. C'est bon, non? Hello, hello. Here I am to brighten your day again. Hello? Fancy seeing you here. Howdy. It's me again. No, 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 don't run away. Come back. I have some good things to talk about today. Hello there. Aren't you looking sharp? Hello. Is it cold enough for you? It's cold enough for them. <laughs> well, I haven't really got a good opening down yet. There's still time. But that doesn't mean that I haven't managed to fit in some insightful wisdom and a bit of advice once in a while. If you're feeling discouraged and the future looks scary, we've only ever really had control over ourselves. I'm going to walk you down this path today to give you a bit of a metaphor, if you, if you will. Um, this, think of this as the path of life that we're on. There's no real easy way to say this, so I'll just spit it out. On December 9th, 1994, 22 years ago, ironically also a Friday, I tried to kill myself. While all those things are helpful, they don't really do anything unless you turn the light on in here. Corny, eh? <laughs> you have to stay humble. You have to think of others and mean it. You can't just, you know, pay lip service and go through the motions. You have to actually mean it and believe it or it doesn't happen. And also change up your life a bit. Do things a little differently. I am going to be present in the present. So if you don't know what this year holds for you, do the same as me. I appreciate the gift of the present. Let's see what I did there. You wish you were as witty as me, and you wish you had this wine, because it's really good. So, what I have to say is that you have to do everything in moderation. Whether that is drinking, exercise, magic mushrooms. Whether you are single because you're widowed, or divorced, or just because nobody seems to like you very much, this is actually a great opportunity for you to learn how to love yourself. Because, I mean, if you don't love yourself, you don't have really a hope of loving anybody else or even of being happy. I mean, I, I get the criticism and I get that it might seem I might, being a, I might be being a hypocrite once in a while, but you don't know. Maybe the video wasn't for other people. Maybe it was for me. Maybe I'm the one that needed to learn the lesson that week. So that's why I made the video. It's happened. Don't be happy because of other people and don't be happy through other people. Be happy with yourself. You do you. And I'll be doing me for the next few months and you'll be able to watch. And it's not as dirty as it sounds. I just wanted to say that I was just trying to prove a point to myself, but hopefully also to you as well, that you can do whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you happy, you can do it. Don't stop yourself and don't let anyone else stop you either.
So, so what did we learn here? I don't know. See, I, I like to, you know, give advice once in a while, share my wisdom and my life experience, hopefully steer people in the right direction. But other times, I'd rather just steer you off a cliff. We can do, basically we can do any crappy, disrespectful thing that we want, including bitching about what other people are doing. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. And if I don't like you, you can take this as kind of as a conversation that you're probably never going to have otherwise. Can I just say that while I'm standing here in my layers and long johns, that after seeing several millennials uh, with their wet hair and their nearly non-existent jackets and their little stretchy canvas pants that I have to finally say with full certainty that they're idiots. They're morons. They are brain dead. It's, you know, it's always about how perfect everything is, how in love they are, how they have the best hubby or wifey in the whole world. Just shut up. No one wants to hear all that all the time. But also, at the same time, there's those people who are always bitching and moaning about their relationship and oh, they didn't really need another special occasion to forget about, did they? Or they never get me what I want or blah, 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 blah. Just shut up. No one wants to hear that either. I mean, but I'm sorry, but just because, like, I don't want to sit and wait while you let six people through a four-way stop in front of you just because you have nowhere else to be. I want to go home. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not aware of what's going on or that I don't care, that I don't have an opinion. It really just means that uh, I don't want to hear about yours. So, go argue with some snowflake or libtard or whatever you're calling them today. So anyway, I did this. I, uh, I, I, I tagged a friend in a picture, didn't think anything of it. And this has happened a few times lately. And then this person that comes out of nowhere that I haven't seen or heard from in years that I know is gone from my life, they, they decide that they're gonna like this picture. And I'm like, where do you get off doing that? Where do you think you have the right to pop back into my life and remind me that you don't like me and don't want me in your life? So get the hell out of mine. Who do you think you are? I want someone to kick her. How is this popular? Why are you people listening to this? Why are you buying it? Why are you allowing it on your airwaves? It just turns my stomach. Those people, I just have to say, thank you for strengthening my character. I really appreciate it. I'm sick of being cold on these walks. I'm sick of the wind wrecking every video I make. I am sick of finding a booger in my nose every once in a while when I see these videos. I'm sick of just being unprepared. I'm sick of it. I'm just sick of it. Enough already. Remember how I was telling you I have a lot to say? Sometimes I can be a bit repetitive. So you can watch it, you can enjoy it, you can like it. Or you could just scroll right on by and pretend it doesn't exist like pretty much everything else I post, right? I thought I'd take the opportunity to fill you in on why you've been seeing me post these videos and why you're going to continue seeing me post the videos that nobody watches. That's what I do now. I, I let things go. It's my new thing. I move on. You know all about that if you watch my videos because I explained it a couple weeks ago. What say you, boys and girls? Or, sorry, boy and girl. The very future of my videos depend on the two of you. I'm experimenting with my videos a bit. I want them to be a bit more straightforward and direct, and a little less unfocused and rambling. So you probably have noticed, or not, that uh, I kind of find myself unprepared, kind of unfocused, rambling incoherently, and so... <sighs> Most of all, just focus on your own home and don't worry about what other people are doing in theirs, including putting up their Christmas decorations. That's where Christmas lights come from. Remember that while you're decorating your tree. Have you finished your Christmas shopping yet? Now get back to Christmas and being happy. 
I got stuff to do. I thought I would make kind of like a Christmas card for this week's video. Since we last saw each other, I've just been slowly working my way through the post-Christmas fog. Winter. Christmas is pretty much done, as you know. Trees are put away, decorations packed up, or they should be. You better have. I guess I understand the whole societal pressure of spending a lot of money and eating a lot of chocolate when we just did that at Christmas. Someone likes Christmas. Now, sometimes when I'm doing these videos, it's not all me. Sometimes I need a bit of help. And presto or I'm drunk. It's, it really shows that no matter how impossible you think something is, that it's always within reach. Just like my wine. Always oh, within reach. But now I'm home. I'm enjoying some wine. There's a little bit left. How could you want to miss out on all of this? Isn't this part of the charm? Isn't this part of the fun? Isn't this part of the get bent experience? I think it deserves a drink. I'd say I need a bit of help, but to quell any rumors that are starting, I am not an alcoholic. As sometimes the help I received was not just in the form of alcohol, but sometimes the help I received was in the form of spectacle. There were those times that I sang. For I'm a jolly good fellow, for I'm a jolly good fellow, for I'm a jolly good fellow. Which everyone can deny, which everyone can deny, which everyone can deny. You make me go, yeah, 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 yeah. You make me go, yeah, 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 yeah. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Though it's been said. Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Good night. And hey, remember that one time I danced? in my underwear. Now, I wouldn't blame you if, after seeing all of that, you thought that you'd seen it all. But it wouldn't be a good clip show without a blooper reel. Without it, it's just a retread of things that you've already seen. Well, that is if you've been watching my videos. I can imagine that a lot of this is new for most of you. All new material. But I must warn you, though, that the blooper reel is NS NFSW. That is not safe for work, Mom. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello. With the return of me comes the return of the cold, which means the return of the willies prepares you and, and increases your mental agility. Um, so, I mean... <sighs> oh, shit. I just say whatever comes into my head, so, I mean, it should at least be interesting. Really? Or you can just keep scrolling past it like everything else that you... Ugh. Damn it. What is this? Kind of like everything else I post, right? Even better, For God. you can scroll right by it, 
pretend it doesn't exist like everything else I post, right? Anyway. Oh, that's just something I usually get into. Hmm. Shut up, Elle. Here it is. On December 9th, 1994. Oh, no, I can't do it. I can't. I just wanted to say that because I have that experience. Um, God damn it, don't play with that. I thought we'd take it as somewhere a bit more, oh, geez, a bit more personal than I usually do because I, I really don't want to focus too much on that. Uh, fuck you. It's a very special holiday edition. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, I guess I wanted to make this year's, or this week's video kind of like a Christmas card. So I could say, Merry Christmas, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm a little drunk right now. I'm going to, I'm going to sing. Hello? Oh, Jesus fucking. Hello? It, oh. What the fuck? My mother's favorite part. Oh, for shit's sake. To tell you the truth. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, I can't disappoint my one fan. So, here we are. So I lied. It wasn't really planned for the spirit of New Year's with the get to be. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, I can't disappoint my one fan. Oh, for fuck's sake, I missed the tip. So, I can't disappoint my one fan. Oh no, I did it, didn't I? Yeah. Attached some profound wisdom to this list, but I said screw the profound wisdom because you're gonna know where I'm going with it, so before long. Here we go. Pat Harrington Jr. Keep damn it, I already know I don't like this. I was gonna read you a list. It's gonna was going to be attached to some profound <laughs> have a lot of planned I'm gonna read you a list and while I was gonna attach some profound wisdom to it ugh, fuck you Christmas is done we pretty much have only a whole lot more winter in front of us oh, fucking fuck fucking fuck fucking fuck suffering? Are you still depriving yourself of your favorite foods? Are you still trying to make your uh, gym membership a go and make your... Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm like... See, this is no good because I lose my focus and I can't think. I'm sure you would enjoy that anyway, wouldn't you? Because you just think I'm all over the place when I do. Hello! Well, that's it. Now that we've traveled all the way back down the path, we're all caught up now. I would let you know what I've got cooking for the second half of Get Bent, but I don't fucking know. That's the beauty of life. You'll just have to wait and see what happens. Now, don't get me wrong, I hope you will. I mean, really, how could you not want to see how this chapter ends? One thing is for certain, I do like my special occasions, don't I? So there will be those. So in the true spirit of the Golden Girls, who served as kind of an inspiration for this whole clip show, they had enough of their own. Thank you for being a friend, traveling down my path and back again. The end, or should I say, to be continued. I probably can't even understand what I'm saying anyway. Oh shit, this is taping? <laughs>